Hello and welcome to this month's Heatline video vlog. This month, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna dive in depth and look at an on-site freeze protection of a sump pump installation. Before we head on site and look at the installation in depth, there's a couple of things I just wanna discuss. And that is really, there's two ways to protect a sump pump installation. You have the option of running a heating cable on the outside of the pipe where accessible, or you have the option of going internal with what would be one of our retroline systems like you see here on the table. In today's on-site review, we're gonna strictly focus on the internal installation because the application that we're going to lends itself to an internal setup. Now remember, one very important feature with Heatline brand heating cable systems when dealing with sump pump lines is that they are self-regulating. And self-regulating means that the heating cable has the ability to increase and decrease its heat output in response to temperature. And when you're dealing with, in most cases, a non-metallic plastic pipe that doesn't always have water in it, having that self-regulating technology is critical in preventing premature failures. So we're on site now in the sump pump application and I thought maybe we just take a look outside to see what we're dealing with outside. Because I said earlier, this is a perfect installation for the internal retro line heating cable. So just to have a look here, we've got the pipe coming out of the wall. So this is the uh, sump pump line that's evacuating out of the wall. It's a polyethylene pipe and it's coming out of the wall. It's taking a curve and you can't see it, but it's headed west along the building here. And it actually, it's above ground now, but it dips underground and then evacuates away in a ditch. So we're not able to access the downward end of the pipe or the part that passes under a driveway. So we need to be able to go internal. Um, being that this pipe is above ground and that we're going to put a heating cable in it, you need to make sure and we need to make sure that after we're done the inside, and we, we probably won't be showing this, but after we're done the inside, you need to get some insulation on the outside of this pipe because anywhere where the pipe is above ground, you want it to be insulated. So we're in the building now, down in the area where the sump pit is located and like any sump pit in any mechanical room or maintenance room, um, there's a lot of things going on here. So we're gonna focus on the sump pit. So we got the sump pit here. We've got the polyethylene pipe. We're coming up out of the sump pit. It's going over to the wall and then it's headed up the wall to a conveniently located 90 degree elbow. And we're gonna go up top when we're done here. We're gonna show you that. And that is where we're actually gonna insert the retro line internal heating cable. Now, an important thing to note about this retro line, you'll probably see it here. The retro line's commonly sold where the power connection is actually coming straight out of the branch of the T. But in this installation, because we have a 90 degree elbow going out through the wall, what we've done is we've actually designed it so that the heating cable T itself is now gonna provide us with that 90 degree bend. And that will allow us to just remove the 90 degree elbow, use the heating cable T and actually put everything back together. So I just wanted to note that before we went and did the installation because a 90 degree retro line is something you need to request in advance. And you'll notice here, we've got a fairly short heating cable and that's because as I said, we have some that is buried outside and because some of the pipe is underground deep enough, we just need to do the first portion of the pipe to get it outside in underground. So we've came up the stairs now and we're up located where I mentioned where that 90 degree plumbing elbow is located because that 90 degree plumbing elbow here is actually conveniently now where we're gonna insert the retro line. And because we have that 90 degree water setup, what you're gonna see is that when we remove this T, we'll then still have the water flowing through on a 90. The heating cable will be going straight out the wall into the pipe we saw outside and the power connection will be coming out of the end. So this is really a simple, convenient way to internally protect a sump pump line. And we're gonna go ahead and install it. And then we'll show you what the finished setup looks like. So 
So we've completed the installation of the retro line. We've tightened the fitting down. And as you see here now, everything is good to go. So we've replaced the elbow with the T. We've got the retro line entering it. We've got our direct 120 volt plug in, and we're just gonna go back down now where the sump pump's located, plug this into an outlet, and this is 100% freeze protected. I hope you found this video vlog helpful. We'll continue to release a new video vlog monthly, so make sure to stay up to date by signing up for our email newsletter, subscribing to YouTube, or following us on Facebook and our other social media pages. Thank you for watching.